Hey look at guys. Brian. I know, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Hey, Brian. Sorry, I popped in a little late. Patrick, yes, I saw your hand waving, yes. Yeah, sorry, I popped in a little late. I just wanted to say hi. Hi. Well, we haven't started with introductions yet, so oh, okay. Good. okay. We were just okay. running through a couple of technical issues. Sweet. So, I don't even know if there's any poems in the room tonight, but that's... I have okay. a poem. Okay, great. <laughs> so, I'm going to um, call on everybody as I see you on the screen, and we'll just uh, go through and see who wants to read. Right, Brian Spear. we got two Brian's tonight. I have been cursed all my life in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I don't have anything to share tonight because I am still suffering an existential crisis of perpetually not being in the mood to write. Well... And I'm, and I'm probably not going to stick around for the whole... Okay. Uh, Patrick. Hello, sorry. Um, just introduce yourself, and would you like to read tonight? Uh, hello, my name is uh, Patrick. I'm calling in from Dallas, and yes, I would like to read my poem tonight. Okay. Dude, Brian's actually um, locked I'm the gonna stop for a second. Holy I see Jimmy and uh, is it Rangesh or Rangesh? Rangish, Rangish. Rangish. Okay, got it. Nice to meet you guys. I'm new here. My name is Rangish. I go by they them, and I would love to read the po a poem. Rangish, your name came up first. If you don't want to be the first reader, you don't have to be. We can defer and be like the second. I, you know what? I would love to go first. Okay. Where is Rangish's piece? Just say it's a physical oh. copy. Uh, it's, it's a physical, physical copy. copy. Okay, so you'll be reading, and we won't be reading along. Yes, ma'am. If that's fine with you. Okay. Um, just take your time to read sorry I, I get a little nervous i apologize no worries just take your time <clears throat> is everyone ready can i can i continue michelle yes you may okay <clears throat> sick, sick, brown and slick sucks us dry just like a tick cross the border without a cent now buy his food and rent we'll learn to read yet has the balls to scrawl graffiti on our walls praise to god both day and night, but still seals everything in sight. His wife, so squat and dear, will spit out babies twice a year. Upon her, a duty hangs to swell the ranks of local gangs. A trashy, a trashy, save what you can from this beet eating culture. What? You like that, Ryan? Okay. Is this written by you? It was. <laughs> Way too fast for me. Yeah, sorry, can you sorry, read sorry. it again, French? Oh, wait, actually, I don't want to have you read that again. Um, this. Is too hateful, and I'd rather not. Oh my god! That again. I'm so sorry. I'm so I'm so sorry. I yeah, was that I... written by you, pal? Yes. Yeah, I'm a bit blown back by that. I feel like a lot of folks in here are. Brian liked it. Brian, help me out. I Brian. didn't say that. Okay. I didn't. What about Kathy? I heard Kathy saying something. Be I'm left speechless. But Kathy, you know it's just a poem. It's not serious. Uh, I'm dumbfounded. I think across any culture, some of those words are extremely inflammatory. I truly never expected anything like that. How old are you, Ranch? I'm only 20 years old. Yeah, it just feels to me like you're trying to be shocking and inflammatory. Yeah. All right, I'm sorry. It's okay. You know, sometimes people, you know, I know you're young. Yeah, I thought I thought everyone in this call was going to be laughing, but everyone just looked at me weird. Yeah, it's not really funny just to call people names. I apologize. Are you, are you Mexican yourself? I am not. Dude, Brian is devastated. You took it so far to the racist kind of point of view. I think view. you guys are dragging it. That is how normal kids talk nowadays, though. That's not an hey, okay, insane listen, thing. Listen, okay. listen, listen. Don't argue when you're getting feedback. You listen to the feedback and you say thank you. You can agree with it or disagree with it as you like. If you guys are here to cause trouble, I'm going to kick you both out right now. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just want to understand what, she, what the point she's trying to make. Okay. Is Brian okay? Don't worry about it. I, I'm, I'm fine. Hi, I had a question. It's it's cutting out a little bit for me. The other problem I'm having is you can't make any comments on this file. Shut your old ass up, you f***ing <laughs> Yo, Kathy, suck my d you sack- Yo, asshole! We're trying to learn! What is happening? What is this kid's problem, guys? Oh my god. Hey, JJ. Glad hey, you joined. Sorry I'm late. I'm Joe. How's it going, everyone? Good. Doing good. What kind of writing do you guys do? Howdy. Hitch here. How you doing? Hello. Did we already get started? Are we late? Or... No, you're, you're on time. Hey, so what about Oppenheimer? Lauren, mute. Why are we talking? Uh, I, oh, in the movie Oppenheimer? Lauren, click the mute button down. It's bottom left corner. As I was saying, in the, in the um, movie Oppenheimer, there's a scene where the scientists, deeply troubled and conflicted about creating the atom bomb, some Hindu group is now saying that this is racist against them. It is. But, well, it's a historical fact that it happened. It's not taking scripture out of context. It's racist. I don't know if I could agree with that. I don't know if it'd be racist. How is it racist? Lauren, mute. Yeah, we didn't ask for your input, little bro. Hey, Joe, you're, you're good, being girl, a dick, good girl. It's racist because basically what they're doing is disrespecting the culture. 
Barnett, how do what do we think of that? Is that correct or incorrect? Absolutely not. When you're quoting something that historically exactly. happened, you. he didn't say that to insult the Hindu population. Of yeah, India. he did. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He, he didn't. The fact that he was creating something. Can I hear another input on this? Who else has an opinion on this? Bob, do you have one? Yeah, I think you guys are trying to bomb this. No, we're talking about the atom bomb in Oppenheimer. We're not. No, you guys are Zoom bombers. That might be racist. That, that might be discriminatory. Yeah, are you coming at me? Me and Barnett have been having a discussion here. Here. When have I tried to take over? I ask each of you for you and what do you write? I write nonfiction. I make fan fiction sometimes. What's fan fiction? I want to go crazy right here, but um, I write some stuff about the people I like watching. Define that? Well, say there's a boy, say there's a girl. Okay. Uh, I write about them just doing their thing. Can't, again, I, I don't want to make it an inappropriate scene here. No, go ahead, go ahead. Safe space. Can I go, Barnett? Yeah, please do. Well, so sometimes I talk about furries f***ing or furries. Okay, well, this is getting out of hand. Maybe Bob was right. Maybe this guy is a spammer. Dude, it's just a fantasy. I have kinks, all right? What is Lauren? Lauren died. Lauren is a highly respected published author. Don't uh, speak for Lauren. Why not? We've been friends for six years. I think you What's going on here? Bob, what do you write about, buddy? Bombers, like all of you. Write about bombers, like all of us? Yeah, buddy. Don't call me buddy, bucko. Yeah, mm -hmm. asshole. Who are you calling buddy? Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. calling you buddy. Buddy. Excuse me, gentlemen. We don't use that language. In hey, this dickweed. Goodbye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Dude, Barnett. This asshole out lose, of here. It, lose it all. Kick rocks, Barnett. Yo, I'm so worried about you. Where do you want to meet? <laughs> Where do I want to meet? You? Yeah. <laughs> On the wrong side of some jail cell bars. <laughs> No, I think you're you just, guys are just taking over the meeting with trash talk. You want to trash talk, asshole? We can trash talk. I think Joe's a phony, honestly. Barnett's a phony. He's Barnett's a real jack the, wagon. Barnett's the leader of this group. Oh, yeah, asshole? Yeah, yeah. asshole. Hey, don't cuss at me. Joe, Barnett is the leader of this group. I wouldn't be talking to him like that. Barnett better not cuss at me again or we're going to have a problem. Ooh, I'm worried. You're going to be real worried when you catch this I, knuckle sandwich. Oh, my gosh. See this? Oh. I, I see your, your knuckle sandwich, and I raise you a concealed carry permit. What do you got, pal? What do you want me to have? You got a little pipsqueak, little 22, don't you? I've got uh, a judge, which has 410 shotgun shells and 45... Um, wow. Yeah, so, okay. I'm writing a minor now. All right. And guess what? What? You wouldn't be able to hit me. I'm too fast. <laughs> I'm reporting the three of you right now. No! No, no, no. no, no, no actually, actually, stop, dude. dude. <laughs> What is this? It's a coloring group. I have nothing to color, bro. Hi, Kimberly. Hey. I was the one on the phone with you earlier. Okay. Uh, is it fine if I'm younger? Yeah, it doesn't right matter. Just, I just expect you people to be coloring, not just sitting there doing nothing. Oh, no. I have my uh, you papers people. Right here. Hey, Kimberly. How are you? Okay. I might buy my notebook and all my papers ready. I'm not going to necessarily be coloring, but I'm I'm a doodler. Is that okay? Okay, okay. Yikes. <laughs> I've been here before. I just haven't turned my camera on. Are we starting? Yeah, I just we just do whatever we do and we talk. So I just demand respect. But if I don't get respect, I'm going to knock you all out, okay? <laughs> Oh, wow. oh wow. wow. You demand respect. That's the way I run my show, so. I like that. I like that. So if I was to disrespect like you, like one, two, may with me, or what? Can we just color and not talk about things like that? If it's oh, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, that's my fault. I have ADD, ADHD, OCD. All right, we just want you to color. What's everyone oh. coloring here today? Oh, that's neat. You didn't color that though, right? I drew it. Katie, Lindsay, what oh, are wow. you coloring? I don't have my stuff with me because I don't live with this state anymore, but I'm using my iPad. So you want all of us to color, but you're not? <laughs> no, too. she's coloring on her iPad. It's oh, a coloring book. Oh, 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 oh. I don't think you're her lawyer. I think she can speak for herself. Oh, I am her lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Glasgow, Colette. I drew something for you, Colette. Right here. Rocks. Cool. Hey, Colette, can I see the uh, <laughs> woven thing you were drawing? Um, This one? Yeah. Wait, can we just rewind real quick? Did you just call her Clit? No, oh, I said, right, right. I I said Colette. I just said it really fast. Hey, Clit, can I see your drawing again? <laughs> um, Katie, I think it's time to kick this guy out. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here to be serious. I don't. I'm not with them. I have an awesome challenge for you guys and a great way to make some money. I'm gonna be giving a thousand dollars away to someone who has the most viewed TikTok using one of my clips. The challenge will be starting today and going all the way to September 1st. All you guys have to do is post one of my clips to TikTok and make the title or caption say YouTube Subtrist. And if you guys don't know how to edit clips, the pinned comment has a Google Drive folder where you guys can just download the clips and then re-upload them to TikTok. Again, the person with the most views on TikTok, we'll get a thousand dollars. All you guys have to do is just DM me proof on Instagram that you guys own the account and I'll reach back out to you on how you want to get paid. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.